podcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Welcome to the Wyoming Women's Business Center 2021 webinar series. Today's presentation is Let's Get Organized, Top Strategies to Organize Your Computer Files. I'm Veronica Donahue from our COVID-19 support program, and I'll be your speaker today. This webinar is the first in a series of three webinars dedicated to organization and cybersecurity strategies. Each session is recorded and available for viewing to all registered attendees, and I'll send you a recording link shortly after our presentation today. You will notice the GoToWebinar control panel on the right side of your screen. I want to call attention to both the questions panel and the chat box. If you have any comments or questions during the webinar today, I'd like you to use those to communicate with us. And as a reminder, all participants are muted to minimize background noise. Immediately following this presentation, a survey will launch, and I do want to please ask that you complete this survey as it provides us and our funding partners with valuable information. So if you can fill that out and stay on for a couple extra minutes, that would be greatly appreciated. Let's get started today with some quick information about the Women's Business Center. Um, the WWBC is a nonprofit organization whose mission is to enable and empower Wyoming entrepreneurs with a special emphasis on women who are economically or socially disadvantaged. And we do that through four distinct programs. The first is our business counseling and training program, which is always free. The second is our microfinance programs, which offer microloans and individual development accounts. Third is the Artist Development Center. We run in conjunction with our Works of Wyoming store and Art Connect Gallery in downtown Laramie. And lastly, our COVID-19 support program, which was launched um, in the middle of last year. So this webinar is brought to you by our COVID-19 support program. And I wanna call special attention to the list of services available to Wyoming business owners when they become clients. You can sign up by going to our website at wyomingwomen.org or you can contact me directly using my contact information below. In today's webinar, I will review seven strategies for organizing your computer files to help you get and stay organized in 2021. If you're watching this, there's a good chance that your computer is in a perpetual state of chaos. Maybe your desktop looks something like this and your downloads folder has no end in sight. Just like staying organized in the office and keeping a tidy workspace, having a consistent method for storing your computer files is essential. So the first strategy is the most common piece of advice I've ever heard, and that is to not let your desktop get cluttered. So the reason they call this area of your computer a desktop is that it should act like the top of your desk. Just how we organize our physical documents into folders and then organize those folders into filing cabinets, that's the approach you should take with your desktop. It's really best to keep as few folders on your desktop as possible. Now, I know this is controversial because the desktop is more of a visual area to organize your files, and it just seems natural to save the documents where you know you will see them right away. But I would recommend making a habit of clearing and decluttering your desktop at least once a week. And this habit is really the most effective way to ensure that your files are being filed correctly and that you're not going to accidentally delete something important. Um, one tip for this, which is almost cheating, is to have a to be organized folder that you push all those miscellaneous files into at the end of the day. But of course, I still recommend dealing with those files once a week and organizing them where they should go. All right, strategy number two, I like to call this the filing cabinet system. So this is simply a folder on your computer which holds all of your documents and files. And the main benefit of having one folder is that you can back up everything with the click of the with a click of a button and ensure that you aren't missing anything in your backup. Another benefit is that you can design your own system map around your organizational needs. You can, of course, have more than one folder if this works better for you. Um, you may find it better to have a personal and business folder so that you kind of compartmentalize your computer documents. The, the advice here is really to avoid having 20 folders on your desktop and reduce the number of primary folders to the absolute minimum. 
So if you are planning to completely overhaul your digital organization, I recommend starting by evaluating your organizational needs and your pinch points, you know, the things you struggle with, and draw a map on paper to figure out exactly how to reorganize your system. So here's an example of a system map on the right. Um, it's pretty easy, and the main thing you want to keep in mind is that the map outlines your folder structure, and the folders are like the drawers and dividers of your filing cabinet. So you want to start with the broad categories like business and personal, and narrow it down logically into subfolders. So subfolders are obviously a huge part of organization. You can't have 100 different folders on your desktop. You need to kind of put them in categories and make some effective subfolders. So I wanted to introduce two specific ways to organize subfolders going beyond just using the category name or dates. Um, of course, it just makes sense to organize the main subfolders using categories and break up those time-specific folders using year or quarter, but you may find it useful to employ these formulas when designing your map. So the number folder system is a super versatile way to simplify the category folders that aren't ordered efficiently, or it's a great way to systemize a project or plan. You can really adjust this to work for you, but the main benefit is that you have ordered the folders based on numbers instead of words. So you can prioritize the order the folders are shown in your um, file system. The other method is used by a lot of project-based businesses, but many businesses do have internal projects that can be useful um, for this system. For example, if you create advertising campaigns, this may be a great way to organize your files. So this is the work, final, and archive system. So for every project folder, you would have a working, final, and archive subfolder within it. The working folder contains all of your files that aren't finalized yet, and you're still working on them. Once you finalize something, you then save it in the final folder. And the reason for this is to avoid sending or publishing the wrong version of a file. Every time you're adding an email attachment or uploading something, you will know that everything in that final folder is ready to go. Then the archive folder is where you put all the miscellaneous files that don't fit into either the working or final folders. So this could be project notes, research, images, videos, things like that. So one example is this marketing folder, and you could use this to organize your monthly campaigns. All right, strategy number three is to create a template folder or folders. So the best part of using a subfolder system is that you can replicate the folder structure across all your projects, events, or anything you do quite often. All you need to do is create a sample folder and save it as like a template so that you can keep the formatting and structure consistent as new projects come up. For example, if you organize your files based on client name, you'll probably want to use the same file structure over and over again for each client. Template folders are like having a copier on your computer so that you can find the document you need, copy it into the right location, and just go from there. Um, you can also have all your template contracts, invoices, budgets, or any other documents available in a template folder to make it easy to find the template you need. So I always recommend that if you use a lot of the same files over and over again. All right, strategy number four, establish a naming convention. So this is probably the most important strategy to be able to find documents when you need them. And for longevity's sake, you need to figure out your naming conventions and stick to them. I have two general rules that you should keep in mind when developing your conventions and a few components you can adopt for your system. So the first rule is the file name needs to be searchable. They need to be indicative of the file content so you can clearly identify the right file. Um, you may have saved a document like my example in red which certainly doesn't help us identify the document. So use keywords that are meaningful and clear, don't use too many abbreviations, and you wanna make sure it's scannable. And that scannability really goes into rule number two. So files are organized or sorted automatically based on the first part of the file name alphabetically or numerically. So you want to start your naming convention with the general component and then move on to the specifics. So a general rule of thumb is whatever you want to see first and order by, you write first. 
So if you're organizing receipts, you're most likely going to organize them chronologically. So start with the most general term, which is year. Of course, my example in red is showing that this would be organized based on where the receipt is from. So maybe if you actually like having all your Vista print receipts together, that would make sense. But I think more commonly, people want to organize them chronologically. So that second rule is really why you should keep the year month day convention and that's why it's commonly used because it keeps those files ordered chronologically year to year and it starts general and gets specific. Alternatively, you could use a keyword to split up files alphabetically and the main thing to understand with these naming conventions is to really think through how you want the file sorted and put that descriptor at the beginning of the name. All right, strategy number five, deal with your downloads folder. Now I would argue this is the most abused folder because we often save and download a ton of files that we only need temporarily. If your computer takes some time to load your downloads folder, that is a really good sign that you need to clean it out. In fact, keeping a clean desktop and a short downloads folder can drastically reduce the loading time on your computer. I mean, just think about all that wasted space of years of downloaded files. Many times we download documents from our email or online and our downloads folder becomes the place of no return. So if this is true for you, the best way to fix this habit is to change the settings on your browser to ask where to save each file before downloading. This way, if it's important, it gets filed immediately. And if it isn't important, you save it in the downloads folder and clean it out regularly. All right, strategy number six, use shortcuts. So I think shortcuts are the most overlooked feature when organizing your files, because shortcuts allow a file to be in two places at once. Say you have a document you refer to every day and you want quick access and you want to find it with as, few, uh, as few clicks as possible, but its home is deep in your filing cabinet. All you need to do is copy that folder or file and paste it as a shortcut to your desktop. So this is a great time saver and it allows you to keep those files organized, but they're still easy to find. All right, strategy number seven. If you don't already have a strategy to back up your computer, this is something that you need to figure out. And the reason for this is because you want to ensure your files are secure and easy to restore. So as soon as your computer files are organized, you should back up everything and make sure you're going to be able to access that backup. Some things are just irreplaceable and you do not want to be without a backup if something bad were to happen. And we will be going over this topic next week in our Let's Get Organized series because it really is that important. So make sure to sign in next Tuesday at noon to learn about some backup options that might work for you. And this concludes the seven strategies to organize your computer files. Now I'm just gonna check and see if we have any questions in our questions panel. Um, of course, if you have any questions, go ahead and go to your questions box or the chat box and put in some questions. So I'll just move on and give you guys a little time to ask any questions you have. All right. I do want to take some time to let you know about a great opportunity to get individualized support with your business's cybersecurity through the 2021 Wyoming Cybersecurity Competition. This is run by Cyber Wyoming, which is a nonprofit organization, and the competition is free to enter, open to all small businesses, nonprofits, and home-based businesses. And I have attached a press release to read about the competition, or you can download and read um, I mean, or you can go to their website at cyberwyoming.org. And this, of course, is a great way to look into your specific business's cybersecurity and try and improve how secure you're being with all the information that you have online. All right, the Wyoming Women's Business Center is made possible through several partnership agencies, and our primary funding comes from the U.S. Small Business Administration, or SBA, and the Wyoming Business Council. So we are so thankful for their support and guidance, and we really do look forward to the work ahead. So here I have some contact information for our business counselors. 
Jonathan Hodeshell, and of course, my contact information again if you're interested in the COVID 19 support program. And of course, you can read more about um, all of our different programs on our website at wyomingwomen.org. Now, if you enjoy our webinars, we do have some topics coming up, and remember to visit our website to register for webinars under training. It used to be under upcoming events, but we have updated our website a bit. So go check out our trainings page on our website, and you can also see our past webinars on our YouTube channel. Just go to youtube.com and search Wyoming Women's Business Center. All right, I'll flip back to the question slide. Um, I do see a question came in. Well, it's just a comment. She said, thank you. Great summary for getting your computer organized. All right, since we don't have any questions, I will just thank you all for attending my webinar today and look forward to seeing you all again next Tuesday. And just to remind you, um, there will be a pop-up when this webinar closes, and it's a survey that will give us a ton of good information about the year, planning our upcoming webinars, and of course, just seeing if you're interested in what we're offering. Um, so thanks for attending and thanks for completing our survey.